And why do you think that the coconut tree is important to us? You want some coconut candy? <laughs> well, I didn't plan for that. Hafidi, I'm Rowling Kitagua, and I work for the University of Guam, Cooperative Extension and Outreach. And you are? Davion. I'm Allison. Luca. Guawasi and Nina. So today, we want to talk about invasive species. Do you know what invasive species are? They're like animals and insects that didn't come here. Okay. Onto like an island. Ah, oh, so they don't, so they weren't originally from here. Okay. They're animals that are not native to Guam. There's something that comes from somewhere else and uh -huh. does harm to the place that they came to. How do they damage our ecosystem? Our animals and plants wouldn't really live because the, the invasive species would be taking over and destroy all of our native things. How can invasive species hurt or harm your culture? The cocoa birds and the coconut trees are important to us. Brown tree snakes eat our cocoa birds and rhino beetles destroy our coconut trees. A lot of the animals that are introduced are known to kill off a lot of our native animals and... Like, for example? The cocoa bird or, okay. the, the, or the sea hick. Okay. Our native plants too, not just our animals, like the coconut tree. These are things we've had for a really long time and we usually, for example, the coconut tree, we use every bit of it and it's very important. We would weave with it. That's a big part of our culture. And if a species starts to die off, how are we going to be able to teach the people of the future all about what this did and how it helped us or what it could do in the future? Other animals insects and plants that come from other places, they can harm our environment. And if they harm our environment, that also harms our culture. So what's important is for us to be aware of how these different organisms get to the island and let's prevent them from doing that. Do you know of any examples of invasive species? Rhino beetle. Rhino beetles. Rhino beetles. Okay. Rhino beetles. The wild pigs. The brown tree snake. Brown tree snakes. Brown tree snakes. The chain of love. The cadena de amor. Fire ant and fire ants. So what can we do to protect ourselves and our sister islands? Maybe set traps and try collecting them and make sure they're not going anywhere so it doesn't spread. Before you move, like before you get on the plane to mm -hmm. go, you could check to make sure like that there aren't any little ones on you, like there aren't any ants. And if you're bringing something else that's not native to that place, then you have to make sure that you keep it well contained and that it, will, that it won't escape. Before you bring in anything, you have to ask the Guam Department of Agriculture. We can not take items from Guam or wherever we came from and bring it to other places because they could have hitchhikers and diseases and bacteria that don't work well with the ecosystem that you're going to. So we need to be careful on what we bring to other places because I think we're like, oh, we should bring this as a gift and then that gift becomes a nightmare because you threaten the ecosystem around you. It's best to educate ourselves on these invasive species because even though we're not bringing it to other places, people could be bringing it to us and it's best to know what they're doing to us because then it gives you more drive, like I said before, to figure out the best ways to get rid of them. If we are careful with what we bring into our islands, that helps prevent the different invasive species from entering. So before you bring anything into Guam or out of Guam, you should always consult with the Guam Department of Agriculture and they can help guide you as to what you can and cannot bring in. And then if you have invasive species already on our island, what we need to do is we need to educate ourselves what they are and how they spread and then we can prevent them from spreading more why is it important for us to tell other people about 
invasive species and how to stop them? It's super important because they would ruin the things in our ecosystem. So we need to make sure we don't have like any invasives on board or else we're going to transport them to other islands and it would just be a disaster. So people can protect the animals and themselves. If we spread the word enough, there's a bigger chance of us completely eradicating all of these invasive species and getting rid of them completely so that we have no chance of losing our culture and our history and our natural resources. So that we don't lose everything that we love. Thank you so much for coming and talking with me. Thank you. Thank you for talking with me today. Thank you. Well, thank you for spending time with me talking about invasive species. You're welcome. Click here to see a bonus clip where the Nihi kids learn about some examples of invasive species. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for new content notifications.